Alright squids, what is going on? It is Hank here from Nintendo, and today I'm going to be taking a look at Mahi Mahi Resort the newest map to hit Splatoon. Alright, so I'm sure I'm gonna get questions about this in the comment section. So NW Player 123 and Reen were actually able to get some Splatfest footage of this map. I hope that gets you a little hyped for the Splatfest tomorrow, if you are lucky enough to have one. It is the first Splatfest that we've had in a little while, so I'm pretty excited personally. I'm hoping you guys will rep hashtag Team Burgers with me, but if not, good luck regardless. So anyway, talking about the map, I really, really dig the aesthetic that Mahi Mahi Resort gives off. It almost has a Super Mario Sunshine vibe to it. Funny story, when this map was first announced in the Nintendo Direct, I genuinely thought that this was going to be Super Mario Sunshine DLC for Splatoon. So I was super excited. Like, if you thought I was hyped in my Hydra Splatling video, I was literally screaming when I saw this, to the point where my roommate actually got really really mad at me and of course my hype ended up dying down a little bit once I found out that this wasn't a Super Mario Sunshine map but I hope you guys can sort of see where I'm coming from and even though it doesn't have the formal branding personally I'm going to know it as the Super Mario Sunshine map. I'm very happy with Nintendo's efforts to sort of shake up gameplay a little bit. You know, they could be giving us more static maps that just have different arrangements, but instead they're actually trying to spice things up. So for example, in Turf Wars on Mahi Mahi Resort, the water level will actually lower after 90 seconds, revealing more platforms for you to interact with. Tweaks like that are always super engaging, super compelling. I really hope Nintendo will continue to include small quirks like these. Now the actual structure and layout of Mahi Mahi Resort is pretty interesting as well, as there's a lot of water around the map, especially if you don't have the extra platforms up. Now, as I'm sure you guys all know, for some reason Inklings die in water. Last time I checked, squids live in water, so don't really know why water is killing squids, but hey, that's Nintendo logic. But the fact that there is so much water means that you're going to be doing a fair amount of jumping. Now, another really cool thing about Mahi Mahi Resort is that the actual arrangement and structure of the map sort of facilitates multiple fights happening at the same time. So this is going to be especially true in game modes like Turf Wars and Rainmaker. And there's also a healthy amount of vantage points that will facilitate longer range weapons. Like most maps, I think it is in your best interest to fit Echolocator onto your team composition for Mahi Mahi Resort, especially in Splat Zones and Turf War. Otherwise, the weapons that are great on other maps are going to be great on this map as well. Personally, I can see blasters being really, really effective as the blaster pops can threaten almost the entire platform that an inkling is standing on, and you can definitely use that pressure to your advantage. But anyway, that's all I have to say for Mahi Mahi Resort today. Again, I really suggest you guys check out Mahi Mahi Resort for yourselves at 6pm Pacific Time. But yeah, guys, if you're feeling extra generous, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe for more Splatoon videos. It really does help me out a lot, and of course, I would really love to see your feedback and your comments on this map in general down in the comment section below. But yeah, anyways guys, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching.